Hmm, MMP. I like it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. In today's video, we are unboxing and shooting for the first time the Smith and Wesson Compact Series 2.0 MMP gun. So let's get into it. Before we get into this video, I want to let you guys know that Smith and Wesson did send this out to me for review to shoot and to use and review on the channel. So just being honest with you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's unbox it. All right, so this right here is the Performance Center package. So let's open this up. And of course we are met with the lock. We get some instruction manual here for your gun, all the good stuff. And something here that you get, you get this little case. And of course it's a cleaning kit. You get all these tools, brushes, you know, all the stuff that you need to make sure your pistol is clean and ready to go. So, uh, I took it out of the blue bag already, but here it is. And in this little compartment, we have some back straps, an extra magazine, all the good stuff here. So, yep, let's put this back. I want the magazine. And of course, you do get two magazines. They're both 15 rounds each, which means if you do carry the, the comp here, it's gonna be 16 rounds total. So, which is, it's a pretty good sized gun if you're gonna be carrying for an everyday carry. Uh, and I will say, as I'm loading these magazines, you know how when you're loading mags, it just feels good. Like it doesn't, there's no resistance with the spring or the mag as you're loading. There's no resistance here. So the magazine is really smooth to reload, or sorry, to load uh, rounds, which is always a good thing. But that's always something that I noticed with other guns you know, the resistance or how easy it is to load or to unload uh, the magazine itself. All right, we have both of our magazines loaded up. Let's uh, load, make ready, and get to shooting here. So a couple things of why I'm really pumped about, why I'm excited to shoot this gun specifically is because a couple things, it's got a, a nice flat uh, face trigger here and the compensated barrel, all the slide ports here and the comped and the little kind of flipped out fins on the rear here of the slide, which all makes it such a really nice and neat package, I think. I'm expecting probably like zero to little, maybe even no recoil, just because of all the slide cuts, the, the barrel there and the compensator. So yeah, let's, uh, let's load one in. We have, this is the first magazine through the comp. All right, here we go. Wow, okay, I have to say, right off the bat, that trigger, there's practically, there's almost like no wall, but when you get up to that wall, it's a very crisp and clean break. All right, so here is that wall we're talking about. There's a wall, here's the break. Smooth and crisp break, classic MMP break. And we'll go to let go here. There's that reset, barely in a reset, and there's that wall again. Trigger is crisp, I believe it's a, three and a half, close to four pound trigger, but still, something I'm also noticing right now is this slide. Like how smooth, smooth, <laughs> how smooth is this slide? You know what I mean? Which I was not expecting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm actually very, very impressed because as I'm shooting this gun, like my sights are going right back to zero. Like you can, you barely notice it that the gun is, you know, going up and it's it's blowing back at you. But you know, we have the rear blacked out sight. We got that U shaped. We also have tritium front sight, which is kind of what I like. I don't like the whole, you know, rear and front both being tritium night sights. If there is a front night sight, like that's really great. So they have this thing called the clear sight cut, which basically means as you're shooting, the gases will escape so quickly. You'll be able to see your sight, your red dot, or your front post sight a lot quicker than you would just because of how the gases are escaping from the barrel and the slide here, which I mean, I'm finding here to be true. And 
I mean, as I said before, like every time I shoot, I like I'm getting back on a target, back on point, like super, super quickly, which is really, really great. And I feel like that'd be super reliable. Man, I, I'm a big fan of small compact guns in this right here. The front and rear serrations, very aggressive, very aggressive grip angle here. The texture on the overall grip. I, this is just such a great shooter. I love it. One thing to note here on the rear, like I said before, there's these fins right here that you can kind of grab if your hands were to get sweaty, bloody, muddy, wet, whatever it might be, you need to grab the rear or here. I mean, you have those little two fins, which does help. So. So the Performance Center package comes with a variety of different uh, optic plate options for an optic if you want to put it on here. And so the one thing that I want to touch on is how compensated this is. Like when I say deletes recoil, I'm not very, I'm not exaggerating. It really does give you such a flat line of shooting, which is what all of us want in pretty much all their guns, right? Of course, all the basics still apply as far as like fundamentals, how you shoot, how you hold the gun. I mean, you have all these ports on the slide, which makes it that much easier to actually shoot. So let me show you what I mean. Notice how the gun doesn't really go like super up in the air as I'm shooting, right? So here we go. Like as I'm shooting, the... <laughs> Like my line of sight, line of fire is still here, like at zero. It's going up a little bit, but going back on the dot, going back on target as far as my front sight goes. And so that's why I like such, like it seems like nowadays gun companies are really pushing for a small compact uh, gun, but also not something that doesn't pack such a big punch as far as like, uh, a compact would maybe four or five years ago. You know, uh, if you were to shoot something so compact you're getting so much blowback and so much recoil that nowadays all these gun companies are making sure that they're putting so much more technology in the slide in the frame and how it shoots and that's why we have all these ports and all this compensating you know that the all these brands are coming out with which i very much appreciate because i love all things compact guns and pistols Gun, guns and pistols are the same thing so Also, I was gonna put an optic on here, but uh, <laughs> I, I forgot a battery for my, my RMR Type 2, which is just, it's just great. Yeah, it's all great. So we're just rolling with it. We're going irons, here we go. Something that I'm also noticing is this U-shaped rear sight. Uh, I didn't think I would like as much, but uh, like other guns out there, you know, this is kind of like a more harsh U versus kind of a, a wide U. It's like really centered, uh, which helps me focus on that front night sight tritium uh, sight, which, yeah, I like. All right, let's do some, uh, let's do some moving here. Here we go. Who is this gun for? Now, primarily, as you guys already know, uh, Smith & Wesson is primarily in the law enforcement market and also, you know, the consumer market. And so really, if you're looking for another gun to add to your collection, this is a great option. Or if you want something to carry, you know, because it's compact as an everyday gun, this is also a great option. Now, do realize this, that, you know, as far as, far as it goes with my Glock 19, it's a little bit longer than my Glock 19 but I feel like it feels almost just a tad bit better. And that's saying a lot because I love all things Glock. I think this aggressive grip angle makes it so much better. It's almost like a 1911, you know, aggressive style grip angle, which I love. And the texture, I mean, all the way around is just, it's brutally honest, you know? Like, I feel like if I'm wet, if I'm bloody sweaty, like I'm not losing my grip because of how texturized, how texturized, uh, this angle is, or sorry, this grip is. Um, something that I was very surprised about and I'm actually loving is that trigger. That trigger, like I said, is very light, it's very crisp, it breaks uh, super clear and cut and it's just straight to the point. And of course, it being the performance center, you get all the bells and whistles of it just being such a quality made gun from Smith & Wesson. So, I mean, that just, 
that's straight butter. I, why wouldn't you want that? You know, I thought the whole, you know, compensator and the whole port up here would make it kind of like, oh yeah, just another, you know, little to no recoil. But truly when you go to shoot, it's like, oh my gosh, you can very much feel that there's almost like zero recoil in this gun, which I very much appreciate because if I'm going to use this in self-defense or if you're on the job as a law enforcement officer, I mean, you have no other thoughts between you have no other thoughts of just like taking down your threat and you don't need all this other stuff to kind of deter you from that. So this lets you acquire your threat so much easier, so much faster uh, and lets you go to work, you know, that much better. So those are my takeaways on this MP Compact 2.0. But what do you guys think? Would you get something like this? Is it something that you're thinking about? If you don't like it, comment down below. If you do like it, let me know down in the comments. I would love to know what you guys think. And of course, thanks to Smith & Wesson for sending this out and putting on the channel. Uh, we'll do some more testing later on. Maybe put, it up, maybe put it up against something like the Echelon or, you know, the Hellcat Pro Comp, which is also compensated, as you guys know, and, uh, and also I've made a review on this channel. Uh, but as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. And I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.